Welcome back. We are here on eTero looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, March 24th, 2021. If you like the supporter channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over here at eTero where you can follow our trades and also copy our trades. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the S&P 500, and this has been an absolutely brutal day for the market as well. Probably not for uh, indices have not been... Uh, as hardly hit as, uh, for example, the commodities and, and precious metals market, and also most of the major currencies, but uh, but it has been a brutal market as a whole. We can see that we have fallen here in the S&P 500. We have tested the uh, 20 exponential at the 3,906, and then we basically bounce from there. If we break below this uh, this moving average, then we will head towards the 50 down to 3,868. And after that, we'll probably go drop all the way down to 3,750. If we manage to rally above these candlesticks here, we'll head towards 4,000. However, technically, indicators, they are all very bearish at this point. So MACD is crossing the signal lines. The down Stochastic is bearish. Down CCI is bearish. And the RSI is bearish. So momentum is at the moment to the downside so we may see this go lower before we see it go higher so let's look at the dow jones very similar here to the dow in the dow we uh, saw the very highs here four days the trading days ago at thirty three thousand two hundred and six. since then we have gradually grinded towards the 20 exponential which was also fairly expected as we were way outside of the bollinger band um, and we needed basically to pull back so Usually when this happens, we pull back towards the middle or we fall all the way down to the very bottom of the bullish band. So historically, when we have been outside, we have fallen gradually towards the to the bottom or a really nasty drop towards the bottom. So that is how this has been behaving um, in the past and we may well also be behaving in the future. And if that was, is the case, then we will find resistance either here at 32,000 or all the way down here at 30,708 before this turns around. Technical indicators, they are all turning around and becoming uh, bearish. The MACD is about to cross the signal line. CCI has crossed, CCI, Stochastic has crossed the signal line. CCI is becoming bearish, and so is the RSI. So momentum at the moment is to the downside. So we may find support here. This is also previous highs here at the middle of the Bollinger Band. It's around roughly 32,000. Then we have the 50 moving average right here at 31,466. And then the bottom of the bullish band here at 30,681. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So the NASDAQ looked really promising yesterday. However, we are getting rejected at the 50 moving average over and over again. And usually that is not a really good sign. If you get rejected this often at a certain level, it tends to snap to the downside. So we have not snapped to the downside at this point. We have had a pullback. We have tested a 50 moving average at 30,189. Uh, and we have not managed to break above it and trade uh, beyond the 50 moving average or, or basically closed be above the 50 moving average. So at this current stage, and momentum is still to the downside. We are still uh, just rallying up towards that 50 moving average. We are not uh, able to break it. And usually what happens after that is that we will fall back towards where you started. And that's all the way down to 12,400 at this current stage. It's basically at the bottom of the bullish band. But it's to be seen whether or not we, um, we uh, fall to this level. There has been a lot of choppiness today due to... Uh, Yellen's and Powell's uh, testament before Congress, and therefore it, market tends to just uh, uh, take a pause and wait what basically happens in those um, in those uh, testimonies. But if you look at technical indicators, they are turning bullish at this point. So MACD is uh, it has crossed the signal line. It basically is turning bullish at this point. Stochastic is bullish. CCI is bullish, and the RSI is flat at this current stage. But Due to the fact that we have not been able to uh, to um, cross the 50 moving average, that is a big warning sign for the Nasdaq. So let's look at the German DAX. 
Yes, so the German DAX, we fell towards, give or take, 13,000, uh, 14,528. And uh, then we basically pulled back, but we're still in the red today. So at the moment, we're just basically trading sideways and have been trading sideways for the last two weeks. We had this massive rally here only three weeks ago. And since then, we have just been trading sideways. Usually what happens here is that you trade sideways, you hit the 20 exponential, and then you uh, continue the rally up towards 15,000. And so there's not a lot of movement here. However, these technical indicators, they are either flat or becoming bearish at this point. So if we were to break below the 20 exponential, then we could head towards the 50, down at 14,000, and then all the way down to the water, uh, lower part of the bullish band at 13,000. So let's look at the UK 100. So we can see that we have a fairly negative candlestick here. So we did try to rally towards 6,718 and then broke down. So at this current stage, technical indicators are all becoming bearish. So if the 50 moving average breaks, which we have tested twice uh, at this current stage, uh, if that breaks, then we could head all the way down to the bottom of the bullish band at 6,528 before finding support. So keep an eye on, on basically this. If this breaks, then this could basically have a tidal way all the way down to the wall lower part of the bullish band and even lower than that so we have not tested the 200 moving average for basically a really long time we basically crossed the 200 moving average here and since then we have been trading above we have a slight upward trend here but it has been really choppy so so at this current stage we may just continue this line trend line that is here and not break towards the 200 moving average so the bottom of the bullish band will most likely offer quite a significant support if this breaks the if we break the 50 moving average. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over here at Etherum. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.